I feel like that question is rooted in fear of what if we're not successful. I'm getting passionate. Hey Shreya, we got a question here from a budding business owner. All right. The question is, should my husband and I start an LLC right away when we get our business license or later when we actually make profits? That is the question on deck and Shreya Lay, the world wants to know what you think. I mean, I don't think profits is the right question. Oh, what's the right question, Shreya? I would say revenues in general. Mm. Because like if you're bringing money into the business, then you should have, or spending money for the business, you should probably have a business bank account. And so I would say any revenue at all. That's where I was going to go with this. To me, if you're starting a business and it's, and it's gonna start and it's yeah. gonna make money, any money really, I think you should form an LLC. If that's the right entity for you, blah, blah, blah. But Some sort of business entity. I think so. And you know why? And I think it has nothing to do with profits or revenues. Right. You're smiling. Do you know what I'm gonna say? No, but I have an, I have an inkling. Inkling. It, it makes you look like a real business owner. Mm. I mm -hmm. would never, I mean, that, a business entity, and also, like, your own email address, I would never hire someone with a Hotmail <laughs> email address. I know who you're thinking of with that. <laughs> or a All Gmail right. or something like that. It just lends more credibility. If I were working with someone who mm -hmm. was a sole proprietor or didn't have that entity, I would maybe question, be like, hmm, how long have they been in business? Are they serious about being in business? I just feel like that entity gives you that mm, extra oomph. Yeah, okay, so let me lay it down here. I feel like this question is rooted in, do you have a real business or not? Mm, mm -hmm. You know, like if you're not sure whether or not you're actually gonna start a business, you're just kind of sitting around, having a glass of wine, talking about starting this little business, and you're not sure about it, not committed, then no, you don't need a business entity. But if you're going to be out there interacting with the world as a business owner, either trying to sell things, actually selling things, marketing stuff, opening a business bank account, investing money. Sorry. You're shaking the table, baby. Sorry. <laughs> I'm getting passionate. Um, investing money into it. You want to have a business entity of some sort to create those barriers, to get business insurance, to tell the world that it's a real business and not yeah. just a hobby, all those things. But not predicated on profits, you No, say. yeah, I don't think it really has anything to do with profits. I feel like that question is rooted in fear of what if we're not successful? Ooh. So we should hold off on being a real business until we know we're successful. Mm. So you're kind of like, burn the ships there's no going back <laughs> this business is going forward yeah we're gonna win for sure okay mm -hmm. and uh, you know it is an investment to yeah. form a business entity but not that much of one i don't know you're gonna have a lot more expenses in your future yeah i feel like okay so here is the only caveat i would say to this is that if you're just sitting in your room coding and not interacting with anyone, no one is seeing anything, maybe it doesn't matter. I don't know. Just do it. Yeah, I would still do it. If you're gonna make some money. If that's your goal, you should do it. It's worth it. <laughs> and it makes you feel good. Yeah. Like official. I'll throw in another thing here though. Mm -hmm. Don't let thinking about this and other not so important things stop you from doing what you need to do to make those revenues and profits. Right. Like I talk to people who are like, well, I got to figure out all the legal structures and this and that and this and that before I can go out there and try to make any money. Or they, they get hung up on like, well, I don't have business cards yet. Sorry. Or the logo. Get your elbow off the table, Shreya. Just shaking it. Yeah, the logo. I have been so guilty of that. My first business I started, I was very hung up on the logo. And I was like, I gotta have the right logo. And I, 
hired someone off one of those sites and they give yeah. you all these different like three variations of 99 it. designs yeah and i am like sending it out to family and friends be like please vote on this logo i need to have the right thing what i wasn't doing was getting out there and trying to get clients <laughs> and move the business forward i was focused everything on the logo second time around when we started lay roots i think we were more focused on getting business and getting those revenues and profits mm -hmm. and i think for our first logo we paid five dollars to someone yeah. and just I was like whatever it doesn't matter logos don't matter yeah i got if you have any stories about starting your own business and the process of what were the first steps you took comment below we want to hear about it we love business stories want to see more videos like this be sure to hit subscribe so they pop up for you and you can see what you can see.